YouTubers, van dwellers, what's up? In this video, I want to discuss rooftop platforms that are very cheap and inexpensive and easily accessible to everybody. So when I bought my Sprinter van, I knew right out the gate that I wanted some sort of platform on the roof so that I could just chill up there. You know, a rooftop platform enables me to read a book in the sun, go stargazing at night, park near the ocean and just watch the surf. Anything, really. But when I started looking into rooftop platforms, I discovered that number one, there are very few options, uh, and then the options that are, exist are very expensive. So I got creative and started considering how I could fashion a DIY rooftop deck I considered different materials like wood and metal and then uh, I gauged practicality as well as ease of use and installation and I discovered an option that is so simple and works perfectly. Are you ready? So you've probably seen those plastic pallets laying around in the back of like department stores or shipping docks. They work perfectly as rooftop decks. Plastic pallets are engineered to hold a lot of weight, which makes them a very safe solution for walking around on your roof. The other thing is that they're weatherproof. You don't have to worry about them molding or rotting, anything like that. And then best of all, they're lightweight. So unlike sheet metal or wood, the plastic pallet itself weighs very little. And then when you fillet it, cut the top two inches off, which is really all you need for the deck part, it becomes even lighter. This makes it possible to install it and then take it off, remove it when you don't need the deck very easily, very quickly. So let's hop on my roof and I'll show you exactly what I did, take you through the process, and hopefully inspire you to go out there, find yourself a couple plastic pallets and make yourself a killer rooftop platform. Quick note here, I just wanna mention that in order for this rooftop deck option to work, you obviously need some crossbars for your roof. On my roof, I have a Prime Design Alu Rack, which I love, and I actually made a video about this, which I'll put a link to somewhere on this page. So if you want to learn more about my rack specifically, check out that video. You're also going to need a way to get up to your roof. Now this could be as simple as just bringing a ladder with you wherever you go, or you could check out my Prime Design ladder that mounts to the back of your door. It's a no-drill ladder, and I have a video about that as well. So as you can see, my rooftop deck consists of two pallets. I sliced the pallets directly down the middle in order to have maximum versatility. So for example, if I'm wanting to strap on a bundle of 2x4s, I can slide the two portions of deck pad apart and then more easily cinch to the crossbars. On the other hand, when I want to enjoy myself and read a book on the roof of my car, I simply slide both pieces of the platform together and I get a nice wide surface to lounge around on. The plastic material is very durable. It's also got a diamond plated design, which makes it non-slip. So should it be raining up here and the deck is wet, it's still relatively grippy, so I'm not gonna slide off and take a nine foot dive onto my head. Each one of these deck pieces weighs about 10 pounds, so they're very easy to take on and off. I attached the pallets to my roof rack via some simple hardware that I picked up at the hardware store for roughly 25 bucks. So let's do some cost analysis. I found two plastic pallets for free. It cost me zero money. I took a saw and I cut off all the legs and basically filleted the top part of the pallet off and I cut those things in half. That cost me zero money. Then I went to the hardware store and picked up $25 worth of hardware, nuts and bolts, and I attached them to my roof. And so for roughly 25 bucks, I now have a wicked rooftop deck that goes with me everywhere that I go. If this motivates you to do the same, go pick up some plastic pallets, fashion up your rooftop deck, send me a picture or a video. I'd love to see what you come up with.